Well, hi. Welcome to One Question. And on this episode of One Question, the topic, the theme is God. And the topic is, what way does God have a form, right? In what way does God have a form? That is a question. And so, we we shall see how we perceive after the relative and actualized answer of what we shall ask and go forth into diving deep and seeing past the riddles of life. Well, are they the really the ribble riddles of life or are they that the masquerade that you know is a sleight of hand and yet on one question we shall shall well spread light upon the darkness and answer in ways that are in the ways of navigating society not we are not going to be politically correct in this at all yet which is i mean by that of being normal we shall ask or ask 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 and answer all questions one at a time what is god per se well what is god per se you know that's a good question to ask what is god i guess in a way of saying what is god is better answer to what form can God appear as to you? Because if God is almighty, then yet you're made in the image of God and yet still I don't know. So you're saying in 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 of itself you're saying that God or the question is better asked and suited for in the form of what form does God appear to you as and that would be what God is is that somewhat what you're saying today at that moment well what is the question is it that we have a God and there is a God or is that God has a form or is God formless and in that formlessness that is God's form to say in a sense just like how no, never nothing exists and is something because if they didn't exist then we wouldn't know about them in and of itself or at least a collective in and of itself wouldn't know about that I would imagine. So you're saying it doesn't really matter if God has a form. They just, it matters more uh, upon itself of recognizing that God exists. It's more of the intense and immediate perceptualized viewpoint that one could come from and be as and do forth in that of them being them and having you know a power that is unstoppable which is you know you know whatever form that may be is is very powerful at least right so god in a sense is is something that we recognize as being powerful, right? And so being all powerful, right? Being just able to instantly already have it done. It's already done. So is is determined to saying which way are we understanding God? Are we able to understand God in the fullness of itself and have the time to to, to, you know, embrace all of ourselves in our life? Or do we only have a certain amount of ability to 
understanding God in one one's lifetime without reincarnation or with re without reincarnation, would we then know God fully? And then in that question, in that statement right there, you have that of the power of God is different for every God is can be in different forms in in all forms that God appears in is how God and is the form of God. To everyone is different. Everyone sees God as different because everyone, you know, I would have to say simply is an aspect of God, you know, and made in the image of. Not the mirror image of. So so in a sense, in a sense, you're saying that there isn't there's more than one God. Is there? Or what are you saying in the sense that God can be in many different forms. Can you elaborate on that a little more? Well, simply to say, like you say, you simply simultaneously want things happening at the same time. Yet, to say it in a different manner, in a different perspective, that in of itself, one can go forth and see that God today is this, that God tomorrow is something else, that God is always changing from one's perception to the next, if they can see the messenger of God in a sense, that God in of a sense, highest form or most seen form in a sense of being the highest form on that average oh. okay so god can i guess be in any form <clears throat> and no form at the same time is there any other things you want to wrap up with that before we move on to the next question please and thank you well i can simply say that god is formless though that is god's truest form well, or, or it would be, God is every form. And that is God's truth form. Because per se, we're in God's mind. And we're just a fig bit of their imagination. And they're real. And we're just in their head. And I'm not saying we're not real. Because if they're real, then we're real. Yet we're still... Within God. Because there is the place to go is within to find God, right? So, just saying. Well, thank you very much for making the time today for one question. And as your host, I'll be signing us off. spread love and kindness always and yet be willing to dive deep and navigate the waters of society of the seen of the unseen so that the seen can be set free I'm just saying just saying because everything has a moment to break down Statement. I shall sign off. Aloha. And everyone have a beautiful one.